this is to the per person that really enjoys the game they play and puts a lot of effort in every time they play. So this goes to Connor Hayes.
be, what we're doing is we're volunteering at the concessions of the Hot Rods game to help bring money in for our program. And you might think, well, why do we need money for our program? My kid uses their own device and things like that. So my picture for this program is the kids to be able to play the games here instead of like remotely at home. So it can be more of a team sport. And there's just a few obstacles because obviously the computers at school aren't meant to run rocketly and it's hard for them to make um, the pathways in the internet to not block certain games and things. So what we would need to do and what other schools have done is buy gaming PCs that are specifically for eSports so they can download those games on it and it's only used for eSports. And if you've ever looked at gaming computers, they're a little expensive. And we would need at least four at the minimum for Rocket League. And then for Mario Kart, we're not allowed to hook Nintendo Switches to the internet here because it's like a cybersecurity thing. So what other schools have done is they've used something called a cradle point and brought in outside internet to the school. And that just alone is like two to $3,000 to do that. So our goal with Hot Rods, so when we volunteer Hot Rods, we get a minimum of $500 each game. We've already done two games and they've already sent me those checks. So they're really fast at the turnaround of pouring back into our program. It could be more than $500 a game. It depends how well the game does and how much concessions stand. The two games we did, they were kind of like low number in attendance and one got rained out. So we just got the minimum number. So here's the games that we are able to work this summer. You can see it goes all the way to September. I put a bit.ly on here and a QR code, sorry. A bit.ly will send you to a Google Sheet that has different tabs at the bottom where you can sign up for serving at any of these games. The big thing is, is each game we have to provide at least three adults 20 or older in case they place us at a station that sells alcohol and then the rest of them can be made up of students they just have to be 14 or older the past couple times one time we did it and we were at the snack shack having to make popcorn and then at the ice cream place and then um the next day they put us what was it called bolitos or something yeah yeah, Bolito's Bodega, and we they were, we had to make like nachos, and we were also at the bar yeah, and barbecue and then at the ice cream place. So it's nothing too um, drastic. It's just you do stand on your feet a lot, and it's more about four or five hours depending on the games and what's happening there. So on your on your phones, if you have the camera open, you should be able to scan the QR code. Then I have the Bitly here. I'm gonna send out this presentation when I'm done on Remind, and I'll have the Remind code on the last screen as well. So if we're able to do, in a total, it's gonna to be 10 games. We do each of those games, 500 minimum. I mean, it's five grand for our program that can really help. Another thing we're gonna do in the fall, which we've gotten some sponsors for, is jerseys. I know we don't travel a lot, but if we do make it to the finals and playoffs, or even the semifinals and playoffs, they have all the players come to the University of Kentucky and play in person. And I just think if, I mean, hopefully, I, I see us making it there in either of our sports, we can have a, a nice uh, jersey to wear to kind of represent our team. So that's one fundraiser that's coming up. Another, something we might do in the fall, I think we did a Chipotle one last fall, where it's like they give you, or 